Hey Kent, it's John. Um, I was going to send you a video letter, uh, since you're not around uh, for me to bug about uh, remedial mill questions. I figured I would videotape my um, uh, experiments, give you my interpretation, and see if I could get a critique. Um, one of my big concerns is that what I think I see is not actually what I see. Um, so I'm, I'm basically um, doing a little bit of a um, quick setup. I think I've got a backlash problem, but I figured I would show you how I'm measuring it and uh, ask your advice on um, uh, how to correct it. So basically this is my um, plain old mill. I've actually got my high-speed pneumatic um, uh, spindle mounted, which I um, uh, can't accurately determine the um, spindle speed, but that'll be another um, story. I've got my um, indicator base attached to the only ferrous part of the z-axis that I could um, uh, find, and I've got um, um, the uh, indicator um, roughly squared. Um, I won't stick this in, but um, anyway, just a machine is square. I didn't do anything um, uh, terribly fancy. Um, this is nice and uh, rigid. Uh, I don't know how much you remember about my struggles with the um, I'm a dial indicator that can read in thou and um, driving myself crazy with the tiny uh, travel and all that sort of stuff. Um, this honking great bruiser uh, actually um, uh, it's only accurate to um, a hundredth um, but it's got a nice friendly um, uh, display and um, I think for my um, uh, purposes is probably going to prove superior. Um, let me see how cleanly I can set up my little tripod which of course um, worked great while I was practicing but um, significantly less great now that I'm uh, uh, shooting the video. I'm not going to edit this uh, or, or anything. I hope that you can see the um, uh, display. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nudge the um, Y until I deflect the um, uh, pointer a little bit. Okay, so that's deflecting the pointer a little bit. I'm going to deflect it a little more because it's um, it looked too close to the setting that I had had before. Alright, so I'm going to try to put this at zero. And as the internet warned me, the very act of touching the um, uh, case is going to perturb that a little bit. Um, don't know how well you can see it, but I think I've got um, I think I've got this thing um, um, pretty well zeroed. Uh, each indication is a hundredth, and so anything less than a full uh, mark is um, uh, fit to be ignored. All right, so that's my zero. I'm now going to command a fifty thou five hundredths of an inch um, uh, movement which I hope will tell me if I've got my steps per inch and my lead screw pitch and all that happy hoo-ha. Um, it should basically drive the needle um, halfway across the face. Um, and I went the wrong way. Okay. So that was something. So here I am at zero again. And this time I'm going to try and push the correct... Um, button, and I should move five hundredths of an inch, um, which should be about half of the dial. Okay, so from what I can see, uh, that looks to be pretty much dead on. So I'm going to do that three more times to sort of move um, uh, in a little bit. The total travel on this indicator is an inch. So moving five hundredths of an inch, I feel like I've got um, a little bit of leeway. So here's my number two, and that's pretty much dead on zero. And that's pretty much on um, uh, 1.5. So from this I deduce that I've got my, you know, num my lead screw pitch is correct, and my number of steps, and my micro-stepping, and all that um, funky software crap is... Um, uh, correct. 
and within the resolution of this uh, uh, indicator, everything is um, uh, copacetic. So now, the reason I think I've got backlash, uh, if I uh, start backing off, what you'll see is it didn't go correctly all the way to zero like it should. It's, uh, it's reading here is four and a half, which to me is five hundredths or fifty thou off. And I think fifty thou, um, I'm assuming, is more backlash than one would want, and I should go through the um, how do you adju adjust or repair or um, re-bless your anti-backlash. Um, um, and this is my question to you. If, if you had a mill that read this, would you immediately um, uh, go for its nuts, or would you uh, take it out for dinner or something? Um, again, if I um, back off more, it's pretty consistently five hundredths um, off. Um, so the subsequent, when I move, the, the two moves that I did that weren't the first back move, I think were once again accurate, but I think every time I rever reverse, I'm um, uh, slipping by 50 thou. If you wouldn't mind terribly uh, letting me know what you think and um, uh, passing on any um, uh, advice that you may have. Thanks, I miss you, I hope you're doing well, and uh, uh, if this works out, I'll send you other video letters as I um, uh, attempt to get my um, shite together. Take care.